welcome to this tutorial where we are going to talk about Sample Samurai, our uh, Lua script for Reaper, which can automatically record samples from any MIDI capable device or software synth. Let's pretend I want to record this e piano sound from my DeepMind 12. I have connected both the stereo output and the MIDI input to my audio interface. Before we can use Sample Samurai, we need two extensions for Reaper. The first one is Repack, and the second one is the Reaper Toolkit, which handles the GUI stuff. Um, both of them are free, and you can find the download links in the description. So now we can finally start using Sample Samurai and start sampling. The first thing we have to do is turn off the pre-roll so we don't get any input delay. Then we create a new track and name it as we want. Now we have to specify the inputs where we connected our synthesizer. In this case it is a stereo signal. Make sure that monitoring is enabled, but unarm the track afterwards. Now we can start our script. I already have a shortcut here. If you don't, you have to use the action list. Search for the name and double click. Select the track we just prepared from the drop down menu. Choose the MIDI interface your synthesizer is connected to. The MIDI channel needs to be the same as on your synthesizer. Now we can specify the range of the notes we want to record and also we can select the interval between the notes. If your synthesizer is velocity sensitive, it can make sense to do multiple runs with different velocity settings. Minimum length sets the time before the gate is activated. You can also specify the gap between two recordings. The most important parameter is the volume threshold. It determines at which volume the sample is cut off. After you hit start, Sample Samurai will start recording. After recording is finished, you can close the script window. Each sample is stored in an individual item. Each item is named after its node and MIDI node value. You can use Reaper's dynamic split functionality to trim your samples automatically. Now it is time to render your samples. Choose selected media items as a source. You can use the item wildcard to include the node name. After rendering you can use the samples in any software sampler you like. Thanks for watching.